I don't know what happened to Will. It looked like he was enjoying the joke. Right? He went and cracked the joke. Will was laughing. Looks like the Oscar scandal refuses to die down. It has been almost a year since Chris Rock made fun of Will Smith's wife's looks, prompting Will to smack Rock on stage. Meanwhile, comedians like Marlon Wayans and Chris Rock himself are still making jokes about the incident to this day. Here's what you need to know. Speaking of Marlon Wayans, apparently, he's got an HBO Max comedy special called God Must Love Me coming up and he's using his killer impressions and physical comedy to tackle the unforgettable Will Smith slap. He even gave us a sneak peek on Instagram with his hilarious take on what went down that night. And the ghost of Tupac Shakur possessed Will Smith's body. Let me say, nigga, we're sorry. It's no secret that Wayans has a gift for making people laugh, and he's using it to shed some light on this dark moment. He's even speculating that Jada Pinkett Smith might have put a voodoo spell on her hubby after Chris Rock's joke. Whoa. And get this, Wayans even thinks that the ghost of Tupac Shakur possessed Will's body during the incident. Now that's some wild speculation. I think she put a spell on that nigga. She had a men in black voodoo doll underneath her chair. Cause that motherfucker out of nowhere, he just changed his whole shit up. Are you listening, Jada? Then again, that's not all that Wayans has said about the situation. According to him, I think Will's hurt has nothing to do with Chris. Maybe something that's happened in Will's life. That was a snap moment. That brother snapped. That's not Will. Will's composed. Will's hurt is, has nothing to do with Chris. I think maybe something has happened in Will's life. You know what I mean? That was a snap moment. That, that, brother, that brother snapped. That's not Will. Mm. Will's composed, you know what I mean? I don't think it's ever cool to hit somebody, but I do think that at some point we can't let that just sit there. I think for our children, for our people, for the people, that we just can't sit in pain and not come to terms. And I think we can all make mistakes, but at some point, let's sit down and come to the table and fix this. There's no denying that this American comic had a lot to say about Will Smith's smack at the Oscars. He claims to have enough material to keep an audience laughing for an hour with jokes about the incident, which he has been doing with Dave Chappelle and others. Wayans has noted that he appreciates comedy for its ability to shed light on what may have seemed like a bleak situation. Another acquaintance of his is the Best Actor winner from the previous year. He suggested that the winner see a therapist in the wake of his Oscar win. He apparently realized his actions weren't typical of him. It's been said that Wayans, who didn't appreciate seeing his two friends argue, made sure Chris Rock was fine after the incident. If a mediator's duty is to make people laugh so they can work together, then he should be very pleased with his new stand-up special. And just when we think it's all done and dusted, fans have a lot to say about the comedy special episode. Take a look at some of the responses that we had gathered for you all. One of the first responses that really got our interest, which quite a lot of people seem to be agreeing with, said that Will Smith's laugh impression was spot on. Also, the dude brings up a good point. Smith probably still feels a certain type of way about Pac being his wife's true love. Whereas, another one said, The irony of Chris Rock's special being titled Selective Outrage and here y'all go in the comments. Selectively outraged. Just laugh and save the pink pieces. Moving on, let's not talk about how after time seems to have passed. How has Chris Rock managed to take the entire incident forward? We all know that Will Smith gave Chris Rock a slap in the face on stage after the latter made some remarks about the appearance of Smith's wife, and that was that. After all of this time though, Chris Rock has at last given his opinion on the matter, and his response is one that will make you go whoa. And you know what my parents taught me? Don't fight in front of white people! <laughs> But before he delves into his killer set in the video, he addressed the elephant in the room. How was your weekend, guys? He quipped, sending the crowd into a frenzy of laughter. Listen, I know y'all want the juicy deets about my weekend shenanigans, but I got a level with you. I didn't do anything worth talking about. The star added, Rock then paused, his face serious for a moment. Honestly, I'm still trying to process it all. I got a whole show planned for you that I wrote before this crazy weekend. And when the time is right, I'll spill the beans and it will be both serious and hilarious. He added, in the meanwhile, there are a significant number of additional answers and changes to process. Shortly before Rock began his Ego Death World Tour at the Wilbur, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced that it would be instituting disciplinary proceedings against Smith. The Academy, on the other hand, revealed that the actor had been asked to leave the show after slapping Rock, but he refused to cooperate with the request. In less than an hour after releasing Rock, Smith was presented with the prize for Best Actor for his performance in the film King Richard, in which he played the role of Richard Williams, the father of tennis superstars Venus and Serena Williams, where Smith graciously received the honor. Rock has, up to this point, chosen not to pursue legal action. However, if his response at the Wilbur is any indicator, it appears that he is retaining the right to make jokes about the incident in the future, which, if you ask us, seems just fair. 
But will Smith and Chris Rock ever be able to put everything behind them and move on as true friends and colleagues? Well, to be honest, Will Smith and Chris Rock may not have the finest relationship since the actor of King Richard smacked the star comedian on the Oscar stage last year. But one of Smith's co-stars believes that they will eventually become great friends. In a conversation with The Sun about Smith and Rock's tense relationship in the aftermath of the viral moment, Smith's co-star in Wild Wild West, by Link, revealed Smith's intentions regarding the possibility of someday reconciling with Rock. According to Ling, I think it was inappropriate that he went to the stage and he was probably shocked. I think eventually, Rock and Smith will become very good friends. It will take a little time. Mark my words, they will be. Will has a very pure heart and he really worked hard to treat his crap seriously and sincerely apologize. I guarantee he felt terrible. I think they will both understand one another. Chris, I apologize to you. But, Whittaville Chris, is he on the same page as Will Smith and Bai Ling? A few hours after the video was reposted, Chris did share his thoughts on the problem when performing on stage for a gig, despite the fact that he has denied commenting on the subject, as stated by the reports. According to him, if everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims, even me being slapped by Suge Smith. I promise we'll be able to be friends again. But I don't care. I don't care. So, where Will is attempting to make up with an old work friend, Chris has a frigid perspective on what happened, saying that it is Will who wants him to publicly accept the apology, not him wanting to forgive or even forgive as something really different. So, only time will tell if these two titans of the business will be able to work out their differences or not. Having said all that, let's now quickly look at the highlights of this year's Oscars and whether or not they live to the mark of everyone, as compared to what took place last year. To say the least, it was a night full of glitz and glamour thanks to how people dressed up. But people still think it wasn't as interesting as it should have been this year when it came to the show's script. That's because the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences made the decision not to bring out the red carpet this year, breaking with 62 years of tradition. Instead of the traditional crimson, a new champagne color was used, which didn't appeal too much if you ask us. On the other hand, Jenny the Donkey, who appeared in the Banshees of Inishirin, was not included in any of the categories for which the film was nominated, including the category for Best Supporting Actress. She did, however, get her time on stage when she joined host Jimmy Kimmel wearing a vest for emotional support animals. Everyone in the room applauded and yelled as she walked in, but the actor contender for Best Actor, Colin Farrell, whose face lit up when he saw his four-legged co-star, was the most excited person in the room to see her. Unfortunately, it was later established by EW that the donkey that was performing on stage was not the genuine Jenny but rather a local stand-in. She was probably having a good time somewhere in Ireland, and if everything went well, she had a bunch of carrots with her. So, there's that. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.